hand corner where I just caught the giant blue Nibiru up there. And on the left, you see that curve coming down. That is a planet. And I, I don't really know the system that good. There's a pinch going on right there. You can see the real sun down there. There's the pinch right there. There's a planet and there's Nibiru. The white right there could be the lead object. You know, and this black one in the middle right there. That one I show you like a little starburst. Paul, you tell, Roger Paul, you tell us who it is. Comment, okay? And you guys comment. If you ever seen this model from uh, Samuel Hoffman, go to his channel. Or I think it's, um, they have a channel on YouTube, uh, on, on Facebook as well. I think it's called um, uh, Nibiru Anonymous or Planet X Anonymous. Anyway, someone comment on that. It must be about uh, 3,000 feet up now, I'd say. Wow, look at that. It must be about uh, 3,000 feet up now, I'd say. Wow, look at that. It must be about uh, 3,000 feet up now, I'd say. Wow, look at that. This is the video that you've been waiting for. The one aircraft everyone has witnessed, from Air Force to stargazers to historians and aviation buffs. Triangle in shape, this spy plane design seems like something out of a science fiction novel. It can perform incredibly high G turns, undetectable on radar, and was developed from top secret Nazi research captured from World War II. And believe it or not, it would use an engine system that can only be described as anti-gravity magic. Prepare yourself for an impossible video on an impossible aircraft, the anti-gravity TR-3B Black Manta. Good morning everybody. Michael Cromie sent me this picture from B Channel. He said, I think it's legit. Let's check it out. I'm gonna put it through my uh, maximizer on my uh, Pixio. I took a picture with my Bandicam, which is free. It just takes photos for me. And I maximized this thing. Okay, you watch, I'm gonna go forward. I maximized it. And brought it in close. The 4K, I doubled the pixels, so 140 pixels. Now watch what happens as I go forward. This is a US ship. I watched that show, it shows you all the different uh, um, classified ships that are starting to reveal. And watch as I filter this. I already filtered it, so I'm just doing click forward. Okay, as far as I got, I want you guys to watch it. See the circle light? See these lights on the side rails? Uh, I'm not sure if that's like a reflection of the sun or if that's like a little boost of power, but these things are anti-gravity with that thing in the middle. This could be a, a, a black mantis. If you guys heard of the black mantis, so. What I'm gonna do is take it to forensic. I'm gonna try to keep getting it clearer and clearer. But they caught it moving. I'll put the, the photo right in. in the, you've seen the photo in the beginning, right? It's pretty intense, Michael. Uh, let's do some sharpness. Usually when you do the magnification, you don't want to do too much sharpness. It will reject it. Um, you don't want to do too much clarity. The clarity will actually make everything get choppier. You want to just clarify a little bit. And the sharpness noise tone let me see the only thing you really do to this is look at it through the forensic tool okay so we're going to go ahead and save this large 4k and we're going to take it to the forensic tool eight times larger than it was. It was a cell phone shot. Make sure I get it in the right spot. There you go. I'm gonna take this thing into my forensic. And I'll be back with the forensic. That's cleared up really good. What do you think, Michael? That's a real deal. Okay. 
And the TRB, the TR3B is said to be like nothing ever seen before. Well, we got a picture of it we're analyzing right now, right? So let's check it out. Um, TR3A may have been a fairly grounded story about a stealthy reconnaissance platform designed to operate alongside the F117. This story gets a whole lot stranger when discussing outstanding claims of the TR-3B. Unlike their turbojet-powered TR-3A, the TR-3B is supposedly powered by a reverse-engine anti-gravity drive recovered from the crash from the spaceship. Now, you know, a lot of this stuff is classified, but the TR-3Bs are coming out. The so TR-3B were reports as UAPs performing seemingly impossible aerial maneuvers. Interest or stories about the real aircraft. There, you know, Marquis Lawton, I think, has built this. Here, I'm going to show you the engine real quick, and you guys could read that, stop it and read it. You could do a little study on this so you could know what real UFOs look like and what fake ones look like. They used these as UFOs and distracted us a lot. Anyways, there you go on that. Well, I got to say, this is pretty interesting pretty good live shot of this I did the sound when I did the forensics so welcome to my forensic tool I'm gonna go auto contrast normal eight times look at that thing clear as can be Michael look at that pick a little bit of 5k in and a little bit of forensic and you know it's something really there you know everybody thinks everything's a UFO but most stuff that I've checked out and as I educate myself about government projects and stuff most objects we see that we think are UAPs or UFOs, they're, they're different versions, and I've seen a number of them, and I know that they're there. So, got it on auto contrast. That little white cap in the front is actually a sun reflection. It looks like a point of a ship. But this TRB is triangle, and it moves slowly, quickly, and after, it, it, it moves like an acrobat. Acrobatist, or whatever. Good morning, everybody. Grab a coffee because this just gets stranger. You know, so it's one thing seeing UFOs and like, you know, Michael shared. He says, I think it's legit. I think it's totally legit. Anyways, you could do a lot with your filters, folks. Just don't overdo it. Mainly you want to, you know, do, do your stuff on it. Bring it up close and look at it. Right here, this is the um, forensic. And what I'm doing is I'm doing the level sweep. It actually takes the light and separates it, shows you the energy burst, shows you the reflection of the suns. This is a good little tool. I'm sorry I can't give the address of this tool away. If you find it, good for you. It is on the internet. It is free. And I'm going to tell you, if you look hard enough, you'll find, look at the tools on the side, you'll find it. I, I was told not to share it. So I've stuck to that. I was, uh, Someone that will listen to this video and know that I'm faithful to sh not sharing this tool. I've been using it for about six years. First two years, I didn't filter much at all. When I did, it was terrible. So God bless everybody. Watch to the end. Leave a thumbs up. Leave a like. Go visit Michael Fromey. And go visit Roger Paul's channel. Give him a thumbs up. Tell him you liked what you saw that Chris did. And leave them a link. They might not see it. See that thing is encaved like that? It shows you that it's a real object disturbing that atmosphere. And if you go down to actual the noise department. Now this is just a different spectrum of color. And if you were looking to fingerprints and blood and hair, you're going to be seeing what this tool is really made for. And here's like when the picture was taken and all that, which is me recording it. Just so you know, um, but we'll, I'll get the address on here somewhere of the, of the actual people, I think. I'll try to. If I don't, I don't. You know, in our channel here, we don't specify so much location and the time and date. We just show the sky, but we try to adhere to what everybody wants is to know where and when and what. On this one right now, I don't know. I don't really care. I just want to show the object. I don't really care about you know, let's prove this person wrong or right. I don't do debunking. Um, if something's a CGI, you can see I got the tools. I could check it out and see if it's fake or real by analyzing it. And this contrast thing, man, I love it. 
I just love it. So I, I, it's about <clears throat> 150 pixels. I double, tripled them. And what I do is I darken down some of the light and exposure, and then I bring it into a complete, you know, really clear picture. And then I bring it onto this forensic. And the forensic right here does about another eight times of what you're seeing. So you've got a UFO and it's pretty clear. Send me the original through my messenger or CAFI TV 18, CAFI TV 18 at gmail.com. Talk to you guys later. Love doing this. It's a blast. Keep sending pictures. God bless you.